Hello, and welcome back to this Trails of Cold Steel 2 Let's Play with me, SLJRPG. Yesterday we started the episode, Reen awakened in the Isengard Mountains, along with this familiar Celine, who explained that she works for some witches. But with our Ashen Knight out of whack for now, we are making our way down to try and figure out what happened. If you're hyped for this, like and subscribe always, please. Gives me a little serotonin boost. Um, we might hit, I reckon, you know, we might hit 150. I'm at 149 right now, so I think we should. But I think without any further ado, we carry on and head into the range for what's likely, undoubtedly, going to be a pretty big deal. Could it be? I've been here before. Master Ka Fi brought me here as part of my training. The Eight Leaves Blade Master. That's the name of your former instructor, right? I wonder yeah. if we'll ever meet him. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Ka Fi, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Mm hmm. Man, when was the last time I came here? It must have been, I don't know, five years ago. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Nice. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. It certainly is. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information on what's been going on. But not all is as it seems. It feels like it's coming closer. It couldn't be. A big old fucking mecha, the Magic Knight of Orpheum. It's a Magic Knight! You know what that thing is? The magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong. Damn it, what's one doing here? Coming after your boy, evidently. Ugh, we need to get out of here, now! You don't stand a chance against it on your own. Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Always. This seems like a stupid move. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. I agree with uh, Celine here in, in her assessment, but there we go. As we face our first boss battle. Let's move. First thing we got to do is just attack it. From this, we'll use the Azure Flame Slash. I disabled the skipping here because I feel like I'm my own worst enemy. And I will just think I am going to take Vibration off the fucking controller though. 5-2. Did we get a burn? No. Ugh. Slightly annoying. I do think we've got the proxy puppet on as well, so we should be okay. We're just going to attack it. Grand crack. Ugh. Not necessarily ideal. I'm actually just going to attack for now. We're just going to keep on attacking. We use tier when we need to. And I want to use a flame impact on him. Mainly because I want to see if I can get a burn off. Do we get a burn off? No. God damn it. Uh. We'll attack one more time. Before I try to heal or anything. Okay. This feels like the turn to use the terror bomb on ourself. Just to make sure we're okay. Nice. Right. Here I go. <sighs> attack here. Please just do your attacks if we get the crit off. Right, with the crit, this is Let's where we're going to try and do that. Oh, we don't have a choice. God damn it. 
Perhaps this is the time to try and do a autumn leaf cutter. We get the crit. 196, not amazing. It misses. We get a counter. Nice. Good, good, good. We'll attack again. Ugh. We'll try and face it so we can actually see. I mean, we're just up against its legs right now. Grand crack again. Ooh. I'm actually going to save up my... Save up my CP to try and go after it with a Azure attack. I don't think it should be able to hit us too much more for much longer. I will patiently just throw one of these up just in case there's a crit incoming. Nice. Brings us somewhat back to full health. We miss. Attack here. Get the Azor Flame Slash on the go. So far, we really are putting up a very good fight against this thing. <laughs> Compared to what some may do. No burn. God damn it. Putting a dent into it. Uh, we're so close to you here, too. I told you this would happen. Get back. Nice. Salim. Salim doing us a solid. Come on, use the power. Everyone again. Elisa being the main one he's thinking Elisa. about, of course. Not today, buddy. We recognize that voice, of course. Ooh. Grand Cross. And that's one way for the Magic Knight to go. I'm definitely taking vibration off this controller. Are we safe? Who did that? Reen! Reen! As we have your boy. Elisa Swartz. Made it without a second to spare. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. Mm -hmm. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness and Tova and Elisa Swartz. Stay right there. Please tell me you're all right. You look so exhausted. Who's she? Elise? It's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Rain, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. Indeed. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just so glad you're how did you know I was here? Ooh. My guess would be that Emma told them. But goddamn, 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 goddamn. As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. 
And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Mm hmm. Dost thou desire the power? Dost thou? Gotta make Crow's character designs the best. The Legend of Heroes, Treasure Coast Steel 2. Reen Swarza. Elisa Reinford. Laura S. Arciad. Elliot Craig. Machias Regnitz. Emma Milstein. Fee Cosell. Juicis Alborea. Gaius Warzel. Millia Morion. I like all the new get ups. Claire Reitveld, Tovel Randener, Sarah Valstein, Angelica Rogner, Tower Herschel, George Gnome. Oh. Alicia Swartzer, Alvin Risano, Oliver Risano, Victor S. Arsiat, Sharon Kruger, Selim, Valamir. There's some boding signals here of what's happening. Crow, Ambrust. Vita, Clotide. Duval, Beblanc. Duval's a new one. Leonidas, Zeno. We saw these guys last time. We didn't know their names, though. McBurn. <laughs> Alita Orion. Lecter Arundel. Alita's new one. Rufus Alborea Duke Cyan Julius Osborne in the background Ah oh, team Chose a cold steel too Let's fucking go <laughs> Hype 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 The thirtieth of November 12.04 of the Septian calendar. <sighs> Where am I now? Selene. It's good that she's okay. This looks just like my room. I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. I'm finally back home. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains. Indeed we did. Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. Elise Schwarzer. Elise! Um... Good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? <gasps> Elise? Oh, I'm so happy that you're awake! Everyone must have been so worried. <laughs> Very presumptuous. Welcome home, Reen. 
It's good to be back. And thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter pated as ever. But pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, Your Highness? I'm really not dreaming then. Of course, we know this. These two as Alfin or Isano, Princess of Arabonia. Oh, you're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Weird. <laughs> your Highness, please. <laughs> Toval Randoner. Well, I'm just glad you're up. Former Bracer, also the vice captain of the skyship, the Courageous. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> You're both very welcome. Are they not freaking I out about the cat? I not give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Aww. I see you're finally up. And we have not met these guys. Mom! Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind, but first and foremost is getting you something to eat. Does that sound like Talis and Jeffy? We can discuss what to do from here on out after that. I will check this. Mother and father. Ymir looks cool. The hot springs paradise of Ymir. Lady Lucia Swartzer. Baron Tio Swartzer. It's been a month now since the so called Noble Alliance occupied Heimdallar. Present, they have effectively all the nation's major cities under their control. The Imperial Army tried what they could to stop their advances, but the majority of their forces have already been defeated. I had a feeling that would be the case. Nothing else. At least the two of you are safe. We were at St. Astra when the capital was occupied, so we were caught up in the chaos too. It's only thanks to Toval appearing and rescuing us that we're sitting here now. What were you doing there, Toval? I got an urgent request to escort Her Highness and Miss Elise to safety. As soon as I got that, I booked it there as fast as I could. I never turned down a personal request from Prince Oliver, you know. Prince Oliver asked you? Well, that explains it. He kindly escorted us out of the capital, successfully evading the Noble Alliance's attempts to pursue us. And roughly ten days later, we were able to reach Amir. I'm so glad you made it here safely. Unfortunately, it appears His Majesty the Emperor and Crown Prince Cedric fell into the Alliance's hands. The official story is that both of them have been taken into protective custody, so they're both rumored to be safe. However, Princess Olivar's whereabouts are currently remain unknown. Of course. There's not even confirmation that he's safe somewhere. It's more than a little worrying. You needn't be so concerned. I'm sure he's perfectly well. He made it through the chaos in Liberal last year unharmed, as you know. He's always been a resilient one. He said that he has. As for Cedric, father and mother, I'd like to believe they're alright too. I'm sure they are, your highness. I'm worried about the Imperial family as much as anyone. But if you don't mind me interjecting... Reen, I imagine you're probably most concerned about what happened to Trister and Thors. Like of you, we've managed to get some info on that front. Please, tell me everything you know. What happened over at the Academy? Is everyone alright? I do don't think this will come much of a shock to you, but both Trister and Thors were completely under the Noble Alliance forces' control now. They were taken over not long after the war began. No. 
Reed. No matter how much I thought about it, I didn't want to believe it was true. What about the students and our instructors? Honestly, I wish I had more I could tell you. There's rumors that they resisted being occupied as long as they could, but I'm much more than that. <sighs> Try not to concern that concern get the best of you. It's too early to presume the worst has happened. Yeah, I'm with Lord Swarger here. On the contrary, some rumors would suggest the opposite. What rumors? Word has it number of students and staff are unaccounted for. Noble Alliance is still trying to find them. Then that means... Some of them managed to escape? Well, rumors are rumors. Still, your classmates and Sarah have more than gotten them their feet wet at this point. Can't really see them being taken down so easily. The odds per sound pretty good to me, if you ask. What do you say? What else can I say? I would have to agree. Celine? I could tell you that where she is right now. I couldn't tell you where she is right now, but Emma's still alive. That's guaranteed. You can tell? I'm a familiar, so we got a link of some kind between us. If anything happens to her, trust me, I'd know about it. Well, I know she's alive, though. Nothing else. How peculiar. Anyway, there's no point assuming that the worst can happen when there's every chance she hasn't. So try keeping faith, alright? Think of it this way. They're probably just as worried about you as you are for them. And yet here you are, safe and sound. Yeah, you got a point, actually. Mm. Safe and sound, you may very well be, but you're hardly in peak condition. Take this chance to stay home for some time and recover your strength. While you're here, why not go pay everyone a visit? Our village has been eagerly awaiting your recovery. They'll all be delighted to see you. Um, if you'd like, I'll be happy to accompany you. Thanks for the concern, Ellie. But I'll be fine on my own, honest. That sounds like a good idea, Mom. I think I'll do just that. So, we're here in Ymir. And we've got some thangs. Prologue, The Depths of Despair. Looks like Elise and Prince Alphen have already gone out. It might not be a bad idea to follow suit. This could be a chance to walk around the village and collect myself a bit. So, we're going to get to explore. It can now be accessed by pressing the X button. I should confirm present location, both the patient and objects. Nice. Nicely done. Tavern, footpath. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. But, first thing we're going to do is head to the general store. Which is... Not obvious. Where do we go? I do like the look of this town though. We're not going to go into that one first. first. Here is General Store. Hello? Everyone seems to like her. This lady looks a bit like an elf. We're going to shop, we're going to buy, and we've got two things we're going to buy. Is one, two in our mission to read all the books, of course. I don't think there's much else for us to grab here right now. No, but we do have some things to go grab. First of which is we need to. Unfortunately, it doesn't really tell us where we've got to go. If we go out this way. It feels like it's been say. Apparently, that's the wrong way. I'm trying to figure out where exactly where I am. There's some markers on the map of where we'll need to go. What I'm trying to do is find... Ymir Valley number one. We must speak to your girl here. Hmm. Let's see how many deadly fishes I can catch. Find some fishing here. Whole monster said though she should be safe. She doesn't stray too far, indeed. Who might you be? Um. We met her during one of the field studies, indeed. 
One of those students helped me a number of months ago. Indeed, lovely to see you again. Young man named Kenneth, we do. No idea. You know him too. The war first broke out, we fled to Trista together. But on the way, he told me that he could something that he needed to take care of and had to go him alone. I promised to meet him in Ymir. There's no sign of him since. There's nothing in the world can crush the spirits of us, Angus. Indeed. Red Angler. Fishing book, a feather rod, and some ground bait. We did indeed catch all of the things. So, new game, new fishing. Which is what we wanted, of course. So that's number one. You've obtained a fishing book and you can fish by inspecting different fishing areas. La 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 la, we know all this already. Is there a fishing oh, spot here? Could probably fish here? We'll do it for old time's sake. Fish. Huh. Our first fish of the game. It's a very simple one. And it is a Cassigan. Yeah, nicely done. Copped off some mirror for us too, which we will take. But I'm not going to waste my time too long with her. We've got what we needed from her. So we should go and speak to as many of these people as possible. So first off, we'll head towards back towards the Baron's mansion and speak to our mother and father wherever they might be. Mother, father, where are you? Oh, they are in here. Speak to the boy. All of the Empire's major cities are under control of the Noble Alliance now. Beast foes on those, they haven't had time to deal with the frontier regions like ours. That means Ymir hasn't felt the impact of the Civil War yet. Is everything alright? No one should anything to do with no profession to begin with. So there's a chance they'll try and invite me to join, but I'm confident I can talk my way out of it. Milken said that I can't get in touch with Vice Count Arce yet, however. Indeed. An important man, the captain of the Courageous now. Something happened over the Lugram. Maybe even the Courageous. I'm trying to make sure we're well prepared for anything. Sheltering our Highness is pretty big deal. Only burden the one person can bear, indeed. You think I'm shouldering too much? Admittedly, those are Mr. Kafai's words, not mine. Got them all well across. I think or not, this is a good chance for you to get some well and rest. And we need to make the most of it. it. Certainly is true. Our father, a very interesting guy, and it seems like a a member of the One Blades school as well. So, where is Mother Lucia Swartzer? Not in this room. Is she in this room? Here she is. Wow, it smells delicious. Is that pleasant stew? Your very favorite. Father said he wanted you to have the nourishing dinner, so I'm gonna call one himself. Indeed. She looks a lot like Reen, so I'm wondering if, if there is. If only he was half a good of a son. Mom, is something wrong? It's not true at all. When I had no idea what was going on with you and your sister, I worried myself sick. At times I felt as though my chest was going to burst from it all. 
but believing you two would come back to me. Safety was the key to keeping myself together. With that in mind, I'm getting this house ready to welcome you both home. Mom, whatever doubts you may have about your place in this family, as long as you're here in this house, you're our son. If you ever feel down or afraid, you can always find comfort in my arms. Then once again, you've found the strength to keep going. You can pick things back up right where you left them. Thanks, Mom. I just feel a lot better now. <laughs> Look forward to dinner tonight. Make sure you work up a good appetite for it, alright? No worries there. Oh, you get a feeling that these guys are good. Obviously, we know that Reen's adopted to this family. So, we need to head into some. We need to go to all of these areas, basically. Let's speak to Aline and Celine. These two here. Oh, sure you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some warm milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. Mm -hmm. Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? <laughs> I told her nothing of the sort. I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? Nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? N nothing. Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. <sighs> Interesting. Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? Of course. That better not have been who I think it is. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could have... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about this. <laughs> of course she has. You're sorry. You. Uh, um. I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And, um, sorry. Interesting. Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did. And at least didn't come to any harm. I guess... <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. You certainly do. Compared to her, I'm... You're really not that bad, but interesting. You can view the character notebook in the tab. So, civic events will give us... Get to know people on a personal level. I forgot about Celine doing that. Naughty, 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 naughty. So that's Ymir's station. I want to go into... I'm going to do one more before we end this episode. And I would like to go into the Phoenix Wings. And we're going to speak to Werner. Whoop. Random block in there for no apparent reason. Good to know. Bulliard's thing. Bus are being cleaned. Swing by later. Interesting, interesting. This is the girl's bath, which means I should turn around. Don't want to get into that scene, of course. Is this the kitchen area I'm looking for? Indeed. So, speak to your boy. Oh, Reen, your collar's not looking half bad. Looking any worse, I was going to have to drink some of the new vegetable juice I've been conducting. How many new recipes? Creativity is infinite, Reen. I've always strived to make the finest dishes in the land. 
You were brushing up on your own cooking skills in the academy, weren't you? Certainly were. Where'd my recipe book go? Did you lose it? I guess so. All kinds of different recipes were in down too. Well, you came out of your way to see me. Suppose this is the least I can do. Take this. A recipe book has been received. It certainly is. A spare head lying around. Go ahead and use it. You know how much it hurts from the scratch again. So I threw in the recipe to try it. Here are some ingredients too. Salty and a whole bunch of different stuff. Is it okay for me to say this? Take time to enjoy cooking. You should uplift your spirit somewhat. Suppress me. Why not go make it with your family? Thank you very much, Werner, for all of that. We can now have got the recipe notebook, which is very, very good. We'll, of course, be using that. There's good, bad, there's peculiar, and there's exquisite dishes, of course. Man, this music has ding-dongs in it, and it's really making me feel like... does genuinely make me feel like, uh... feel like there's some battles going on, but... I'm wondering if this should be the last one for now. So, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and we'll continue exploring Ymir next time. Peace.